Doctors are discovering that some COVID-19 patients are not really recovering despite beating the virus itself. They are now suffering long term serious side effects. So how many are there and will they ever get back to full health? John Sherrick spoke with the NIH doctor trying to get answers. We've been hearing their stories too. It's a long road ahead. Patients who recovered from COVID-19, but weeks and months later are still having to live with serious damage the virus did to their bodies, including damage to the lungs or kidneys or other organs or to the nervous system or brain. Patients losing their memories, their balance. I'm still not myself. I get tired very, very fast to go up the stairs, to come down the stairs. It's hard. They complain of mental fogginess, not being able to think clearly at all. Dr. Avindra Nath of the National Institutes of Health says no one knows yet why the virus causes long-term or possibly permanent damage to some patients or to how many. Apparently there are thousands of them. Dr. Nath says it's not even clear yet how many of the former COVID patients suffering long-term damage might have had pre-existing conditions. So they were very highly functioning individuals, and all of a sudden now they can perform uh, in their job. Dr. Nath is starting to research the immune systems of the COVID patients who do not fully recover. And my hope is that more people will continue to get better, but it may not be for everybody, unfortunately. COVID, it's not something to play with. It's like a monster living in your body. So there's still much doctors don't know yet about COVID-19. Researchers can only hope that the long-term effects of the virus on some patients will not be permanent.